Good evening. Hello, hello, hello. How are you guys doing? It's Monday. Hi, guys. So it's Monday. Hey, Kathy. Kathy, Kathy, Kathy. Hey, guys. How's everyone doing? Hey, Pat. All right. How are you guys doing? It's Monday. Did you all see what I got today? Super, super excited. What's that? Oh, okay. Hey, Pat. So, I got a cricket today. So, I made um, this little trick-or-treat that goes on this sign. I've been taking, um, I signed up with Tina for um, Out in the Country Blank some more to learn how to paint because I can't paint. Hey, Sherry. So, um, I did the trick-or-treat with, <coughs> with the um, cricket. Hey, Dixie. I made this, yeah. I'm, I, well, I painted this in um, Tina's group because I'm learning how to learn how to paint that. So, so I made that. But we're not using the sign tonight. But I was like, so, okay. I was super cool. Back, Cindy. I know. It was just a really simple thing. But, you know, I have to start somewhere. So, but yeah, I thought it turned out good. So, I know. I'm so excited. Hey, Kathy. Kathy's going to have to teach me how to do, um, you know, really good at it because I don't know what I'm doing. I want to learn how to make um, t-shirts, Kathy, so you really have to help me. Okay, so we're going to be, hey, Deb. <laughs> I know, right? That is awesome. I was so excited. I couldn't believe I won. I never win anything, Deb. So when I won that, I was like, oh, my goodness, you got to be kidding me. Okay. So, we're going to be using this um, haunted house sign. It says Tours Daily. And we're going to be using these three ribbons. Oh, no worries, Kathy. Are you kidding? Pfft. No worries. We're going to be using those three. Okay. We're going to be using these lovely, lovely picks. Hey, Bev. And... This gorgeous mesh. Isn't this pretty? Oh my word, love it, love it, love it. Okay, so. Alright. So we're going to go ahead and get started. So let's get going. Alright, so we're going to do the poof method. So we're going to start on the inner row. I know, isn't it pretty? I got it last year. I know, Kathy did a little shopping for me today. I don't know if my, <laughs> my uh, car's going to fit at all. <laughs> I don't know, Kathy. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay. All right. So let's get started. So we're going to be doing the poof. And, oh, first of all, I need to get a straight edge. Look how wonky that is. That is wonky, baby. Wonky. Thank you, thank you for blessing my page. So you want to start with a straight edge. And, of course, this is not. So I'm going to go right around that green edge so it's straight. Okay, that's better. How are you? So if you guys could bless my page, I would appreciate it. So what you want to do when you make a poof is you want to kind of gather the ends together so your poofs aren't all wonky. Okay, like so. Was it this or no air conditioning in there, Kathy? I bet there wasn't. I bet you were then. Whew. Okay, and I'm going to start it here. Hey, Julie, I know. Isn't it pretty? Okay. Then we're going to make sure those edges stay tucked under. And we are going to do 12-inch poofs on the top. Okay. And 
tuck that under there. Yes, it is. Okay, and this mesh is just gorgeous. Love this mesh. Love it, love it, love it. Thank you, Cindy. Much appreciated. It's got all the fun Halloween colors in it. And again, you want to make sure that those edges stay tucked under so that your poofs are not all wonky. Oh, was he at lunch? Oh, you missed him, huh? And we're going to do 12 inches on the top. Okay. I didn't cook dinner. I had leftovers. I know, but they really didn't have anything there, did they? It really, they're probably just putting it out. Okay, again, we're going to do the 12 inches on the top. Hey, Carla from Virginia. What part of Virginia are you from? Well, you'll just have to go back, Kathy. From Powhatan. I used to live in Midlothian, so I know exactly where Powhatan is. Oh, boy. Hey, Dawn. There's Dawn. So, um, I'm glad Dawn popped on here because with me being gone the next couple of weeks, I'm going to have some friends come on and do some lives for you guys. And Dawn is one of the ones who is going to be doing a live for me. So, Dawn is in um, a group that I'm in with Lori. So, Dawn will be coming on next Monday. And she will be on my page, and she will be doing a live on my page. Since I'm on vacation, and I don't want you guys to miss out on the live, so I'm going to be having guest wreath makers come on. So for the next two weeks, Monday and Thursday nights, you guys come on. And I'm going to have them um, come on. Like, I'll have Dawn come on either... Um, tonight or tomorrow sometime and just do a quick live to introduce herself and introduce her page and tell her when she will be coming on and tell you a little bit about herself. So um, this kind of introduces you guys to a few new wreath makers and helps me out so that I kind of don't have to worry about, you know, making wreaths while I'm on vacation and I much appreciate my friends helping me out. So make sure you guys tune in next Monday night to say hi to Dawn and see what Dawn's going to be making. I don't even know what Dawn's going to be making, so she's going to surprise us, right? Do you know what you're going to make yet, Dawn? Hey, Reba! Yeah, so Dawn's going to come on and make a wreath for us. Or maybe not a wreath. I don't know yet. Hey, Christine. How are you? I know, finally. Hey, Gail from South Dakota. All right, so right, so we have Dawn this Monday or next Monday, the twentieth or the fifteenth. Um, I believe this came from Craft Outlet, Melanie, last year. Hey, Carol. So um, she, like I said, she's going to come on, and she will introduce herself and just do a quick live because we're going to test it out, make sure it's going to work. <laughs> And um, she's going to tell you about a little bit about herself. Oh, she's doing Christmas. Okay, so Dawn's going to do a Christmas one. I haven't done a Christmas what one yet, Dawn, so that'll be good. So Chris is, um, Dawn's going to make a Christmas wreath for you guys. She's, she's going to come on and make a Christmas wreath. Hey, Audrey. Um, now, because my pipe cleaners are a little closer together on the bottom, I'm going to do 10-inch poofs on the bottom. So we're just going to do 10 inches on the bottom. So we're going to have Dawn next Monday. And um, like I said, she's going to stop on here and give you a little information about her and her page. And then next Thursday, Sue Merrick is going to come on and do a live. I'm getting crazy stuff. And then um, the following next Monday, Bev Cowling is coming on. Dawn, what's the name of your um, your Facebook page? So 
camera, guys. It's like going crazy over there. And then next Thursday, Tequila Florence will be coming on, and she'll be covering for me next Thursday. Hey, Susie Brown. There's my favorite girl. I can't wait, Susie. Just a couple weeks, Susie. Susie Brown, Reef Decor by Dawn. There you go. So Dawn will be on next Monday. For those of you who don't know, Dawn, um, my girl Susie Brown invented my mesh holder. So, Reef Decor by Dawn, so go check her out. I am leaving. I don't think I'm going to Sims, Kathy. I don't think I'm going to have time. I'm leaving for the beach this Friday morning. I know, isn't it fun? So I thought instead of me like stressing out, trying to like decide, you know, and take time away from my family and making stuff down there, um, I just thought I would ask some of my friends if they would come on and, um, you know, cover for me while I'm gone. So they graciously, graciously accepted and said that they would. So I very much appreciate it. I know, Josie, I can't wait. So, um, like I said, I have four people covering for me. And it's going to be awesome. So I cannot wait. I better not run out of this mesh because I don't have any more. So, um, yeah. So like I said, they're each going to come on. And I know... Um, hey Susan, how are you? They're each going to come on and introduce themselves over the next couple of days. Just tell them, you know, hey Steven, tell you guys a little bit about themselves, introduce themselves so you know who they are. You were at Sims? Which one, Terry? Because um, my friend Kathy was just there today in North Carolina and they hardly had any of their fall stuff out yet. I know. Steven, how are you? How are you doing? I know, Susie, I've missed you. I cannot wait. I so cannot wait, Susie, to give you a big hug. And I better not run out of this mess, you guys, because this is all I have. <laughs> and I don't know if I'm going to make it or not. We might have to go to plan B. Thank you for blessing my page. We might have to go to plan B. Hey, Julie. The North Carolina one? Yeah, um, they didn't have much out today. Hey, Nicole. Oh, boy, you guys. Pray I make it. I don't think I'm going to make it. I don't think I'm going to make it. <laughs> Might have to go to plan B. Oh, thank you, Nicole. I was super excited. I could not believe I won. I could not believe I won. Because I do not think I have another roll of this, you guys. I don't have a plan B. Oh boy, I don't have a plan B. We're going to have to make it work, you guys. Hey, Sandra. Hey, Julie. So, yeah, so that's what we're going to do. I'm going to have some visitors come in, and um, I know. <laughs> uh, it was so funny. Today, I thought I was, I, um, they had a little, like, card that you make. I don't know, you get, I don't do that. They, um, I do have some solid black. I think I'm going to just going to have to fill in with something. can't believe it. I thought I had, I knew this, I knew this wasn't a whole roll, but I thought I had plenty to, to make it. But, um, thank you for sharing, Carmel. Oh, boy. We have to go back and do the top in 10. Um, you took it out of the box? Yay, in it! I know I'm not going to make it around. There's no way. No way, no way, no way. Let me see. Guys, hold please. I do. I do, I do, I do. I have some um, black here. I can't believe it. I thought I had enough. Oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my. Bummer. I have black and orange and purple. Well, all right, let's, let's, um, let's think about this. Okay, all right, I'm going to undo the bottom one. I know, hi Johnny, how are you? 
yeah, I think I'm going to um, undo the bottom. And I might just do the bottom in this. I don't know. Let's we'll see. We're going to wing it, you guys. I thought I would have plenty. Hey, Deb. Oh, bummer. It could be, too, because um, I did the top for the at-home store. You couldn't find the directions? I just, I just typed it in. Oh, Steven, you poor thing. Ay, ay, ay. I know I have, um, I know, I was just so excited. Okay, thanks, Teresa. I think if I go back, maybe, and do the top in 10-inch poofs, I might make it, but. But boy, oh boy, oh boy, I don't know. I thought I had plenty. But you know how it is. Best laid plans. Best laid plans. I know. Alright, plan B. Plan B. We're going to try it in 10 inch. See, that's what happens. That's what happens. That's what happens. But that's okay. This gives me more time to talk to you guys. <laughs> oh boy. Oops, that one came right out. Okay. I knew. Oh well. That's okay. We're going to start again. And see what happens. We'll just do 10 inch. I know, I just, I can't, I just can't, because I'm so stinking excited. Just going to do smaller poofs. Just going to do smaller poofs, and we'll just make it. Hey, June from Ohio, how are you? That's okay. You know what? Um, <clears throat> because, you know, hey, Sandy, when you do the, um, the, um, pancake method, she only does like 8 or 9 inch poofs to make it flatter. So we'll just do that. So we're just going to do 9 inch poofs all around. We're going to wing it. We're going to wing it. We're going to wing it. It'll still look cute. I did. I just got it today, Johnny. I was so excited. And you know, yeah, I was just, I was so super excited. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't wait. And I was like, every time my dog barked, I thought it was, you know, it was the delivery person, and then it wasn't. And then I had to run out to the post office. And then, of course, it got delivered when I wasn't here. <laughs> and that always how it is, though, you know? It was like, oh, man. But, you know, that's okay. I like to wing it. I think I work, work best when I wing it. I thank you, Johnny. I'm so super excited. But now I've got to start making stuff. But Kathy has to teach me how to make... Uh, I'm doing 9 inch. I changed it to 9 inch. Um, Kathy has to teach me how to do um, t-shirts. <clears throat> because I want to make some t-shirts. I don't know what, but... Hey, Anna, how are you? Oh, thank you. I'm glad you're here. Yep, I went for nine to make sure I have enough. So, thanks, Deb. Hey, Muriel, how are you? I know, I thought I had enough. I mean, I knew I had used some off this roll, but I didn't think I used that much. But, it's okay. Hey, you, got it? you went home today? How are your sodium levels? Are they good? My goodness. So Johnny was in the hospital, out of the hospital, in the hospital again, and now she's home again. Yay! I think we're going to be wheeling you to um, Wreath Makers Live, Johnny. Alright, so I'm back at the beginning. Oh, that's awesome, Annette. I know, I really want to, um, 
I want to learn how to do t-shirts. But I know Kathy has one of those heat press machines, so I don't know. I might get one of those. Oh, you did? See, I, uh, I don't know. I'm just like, I'm so nervous about doing anything, you know. <laughs> hey, I, you know, we can still have a partnership. Oh, no. Oh, you did? Oh. They closed. I know. I really liked pack of tans. All right. So, on the bottom, since I did nine, you got a heat press? I don't know if I want to get a heat press. So, let me see. Twelve. And I was going to do ten. So, nine. Let me try seven on the bottom here. Um, so what I'm doing on the bottom is I'm just doing two inches, um, smaller than I did on the top. So since I did nine inch proofs on the top, I'm going to do seven inch proofs on the bottom because remember, um, my uh, pipe cleaners are a lot closer to Heather, uh, closer together. Oh, yep, absolutely, Anna. Yep, you should have stopped making summer a month ago. Yep. I know it seems weird, but um, when you're in the wreathing business, you have to be another, you know, a couple of months ahead. Okay, I won't, Kathy. I didn't buy much. I really didn't. I just bought, like, a couple rolls of um, vinyl just to play with. I know, I know. I am going to play with it. I am going to play with it. I am going to do that. Um, oh, you do? You do have the heat press? Yeah, I don't know. I just, I keep thinking. I really have to see if, you know, you know, I have to just see how much of the Cricut I'm going to use and that kind of stuff because I would love to make t-shirts. Yeah, I would love to do that. You know, with all the grandsons and everything, I mean, it would just be fun, you know? Now, my daughter-in-law has the, um, ex what is it, the Explorer or the Air 2 or something, whatever it is, and um, she makes a lot of stuff. I know, Kathy, you need to move closer. <laughs> when, Jim, when Jim comes up, um, the, the maker, the Cricut maker, I want it, Reba. I was so excited I won it in a contest. Super excited. You're just going to have to come up here for like a week or something, Kathy. Okay, so again, we're, I'm just doing um, seven inch poofs on the bottom. A little smaller. Yes. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> Kathy's going to have to teach me that. I don't know. I don't know if I'm up for quite, you know, quite up for that stuff yet, but I'll get there eventually, but. I don't know. But, you know, it'll be fun to play with it. I know, right, Brenda? I just, I was shocked. I couldn't believe it. Because me and this other girl were like, you know, going back and forth, teasing each other like, no, I'm going to win it. No, I'm going to win it. And so I thought for sure she was going to win it. But hey, Connie, I'm glad to see you again. But yeah. So don't forget, I'm going to have a couple of uh, the next two weeks. Oh, and this Thursday might be a little crazy, too. I don't know. I might do a quick live this Thursday. Because this Thursday we're packing and getting everything ready. I don't know. Um, my life is a little crazy lately. Maybe I'll play with the cricket Thursday night. That's what I'll do. Thursday night. Um, I'll, have to do it. I'll have to do it later, though. But um, I'll play with the cricket Thursday night. Maybe I'll make something. Yeah, I'll play with the cricket. You guys can help me. 
You guys can teach me as I go. I'll make a little sign or something. That's it we'll do Thursday night. You know, just something real easy. Because the Lord knows. You did? Oh my goodness. Yes, we're going to Myrtle Beach. Yes. We are leaving first thing Friday morning. Yes, ma'am, we sure are. Cannot wait. Did you make your sign? No, not this one I didn't. Um, I made one. I was just playing with it today. Um, just to play around. Hey, Carolyn, how are you? Um, so I made that. Because I'm taking these painting courses through Tina without in the country blanks and more. And, um, because I can't paint. So, I'm like, oh, just try it, you know? Why not? You've never used it for eight months, Johnny Lynn. Girl, you better get busy on it. Damn, I'm going to use it. Okay, Kathy, well, we better do a Zoom call. We'll do a Zoom call and you can teach me, Kathy, because Lord knows I need some help. That's what we'll do. Hey, Kathy, how are you? Because I know nothing. I know, right? Kathy's going to have to give me lessons. I'm going to have to start paying her in ribbon or something, Kathy. <laughs> oh, I think I'm going to make it. I'm going to make it. I'm going to make it. <laughs> I know. You can't find the nose? Oh. I, don't know. I told you, Kathy, you need to start doing lives. And um, teaching us how to do it. Because everyone loved it that night I was down there. And you taught everyone. Oh, it's really easy. Hey, Dora, how are you? It's just a video conferencing app that um, lets you... It's, it's like FaceTime. Hey, Betty. Um, hey, Carla. It's just a video conferencing app. Kind of like FaceTime. But like you can... Hey, Helene. Um... Like, I can see your stuff on your computer. Like, you can screen share. I can screen share. It's really easy. Hey, Beverly. So, it's a lot of fun. Okay. Oh, I think I'm just going to make it. Just going to make it. Hey, Ashley, how are you? Man, just going to make it, you guys. <laughs> just going to make it. That's okay. We made it. Whoop, whoop. Don't forget to like, follow, and share, please. Much appreciated. Okay, last one. I know, I told you you could do it. You could do it in here. Absolutely, Kathy. No problemo. Okay, so let me get to the end here. Whew. We just made it. Just made it. Hey, look, I'll teach you the cricket. Or you didn't, no, I'll teach you the cricket. No, you teach me the cricket, I'll teach you. Hey, Cheryl. Hey, Mary Ellen, how are you? Okay, we're going to tie this puppy in here. Oh, take the tape off, that would help. Guys, I'm so hyped up tonight over that stinking cricket, I can't believe it. Okay. Whew. 
Okay. Get that puppy down there. Hey, Brenda, how are you? How do you do lives in private? Um, well, you can't really do lives in private. That's what you can do Zooms in private if you want. Um, but you can't really do like private lives. Alright, so let me zip tie this in. Make sure it doesn't go anywhere, just to be sure. Bought you a um, a cricket. See, we'll all have to learn together. That's it. Okay. See, that doesn't look bad, even though it's kind of small poofs, right? Thank you, Cheryl. Appreciate that. Okay. So even though we um, lowered our poof size. It still looks good, right? Okay, so there's our wreath base. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and get our ribbons. And we have this one and a half inch kind of sheer with all glittered on it. I know, I did hear about Troy Tube. Um, a couple people have told me about Troy Tube. The size of the base or the wreath. So the mesh, I did um, nine inches on the top and then seven inches on the bottom because my pipe cleaners are closer together. And then my ribbons, I cut to 12 inches. I know, see you can't really tell, right, that it, I went a little smaller on the, a Troy tube is for, um, is for the um, Cricut. He like knows everything about the Cricut, right? Okay, and then I have Okay, so I have these picks, okay, which I do have these in my Etsy shop. I only have 12, so if you guys are interested, um, I only have 12 of them. So, um, let me see here. Okay, so there is... The link for these picks if you guys want them. Hey, Rosie, I haven't seen you in forever, girl. Okay. How are you? So, um, there's five little ghosts on there. Okay, so what I'm going to do, what do I do with that one? Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my little ghosts and I'm going to tie that right around there okay cut that off and I'm going to take that um, stick that's on there and I'm going to wrap it right around so that it is and that's the thick one of course Okay. That does not go anywhere. Okay. Alright, so our little ghost sticking up there. And I'm going to cut that off. Okay. So there we have our little ghost with our little ribbon. Okay, just like that. They are ghosts on the black ribbon. See? Hey, Rose. All right, so we're going to continue that all around. Okay, and 
these are cut to 12 inches. I know, isn't that cute? Okay, so we have our little ghosts hanging out there. I'm going to put them in. And I just, I tie them off real good into the twist tie. And then what I do, I cut that twist tie off, wrap it around, and then I take that wire and I wrap it around the frame also so that it doesn't go anywhere. Okay. And then we want our little ghost to kind of stand up a little bit. Isn't that adorable? Okay, and I don't know if I'm going to put them on the top too. We'll just kind of have to wait and see. We shall see. Thanks, Pat. Hey, Yvonne, how are you? Thank you, thank you. Oh, thanks, Kathy. I try. I do try. Okay, again, so we're going to take that little ghost. I'm going to wrap the pipe cleaner around it real good. Hey, Gail, how are you? Okay, tie that on there good. And then cut that pipe cleaner off. And then again, take that wire and wrap it around the frame. So again, it's not going to go anywhere. It's going to stay right into place there. And then make sure you tuck that in so it doesn't poke out. And then you want your little ghost to kind of stand up there. like that. Okay. Hey Gabby, how are you? Oh. Oh, I'm sorry, Kathy. Tell Jim I said I'm sorry. Oh, that's the one. Oh, I remember you telling me about her. Oh. I remember you telling me about her. Aww. Okay. Yeah, they're made out of styrofoam. Yep. it and wrap it around because you want that ghost to stay in place and then you want to make sure you tuck that wire so it doesn't poke anything okay and then just get your ghost and kind of make it stand up a little bit thank you isn't that cute though I love how these like kind of stand up and they're like a little 3d effect No, absolutely put put them in your shops. Yep. And you don't want to, like, in your um, your Etsy shop or whatever, you want to leave your stuff in all year long. I mean, you have, you can have people buying 
you know, Christmas now or Christmas anytime. It really doesn't matter. Um, it's never too early. Thanks, Claire. Hey, Allison, how are you? Oh, sure you could. Oh, that is true. Yep, covered in glitter and all kinds of stuff. Yeah, I haven't, you know, like I said, I just got it today. So, yeah, see, Cindy said she sold Christmas in February. You just never know, you know, when what you're going to sell when. So you always leave everything in your shop all year long. Oh, no problem. Nope, I bought these. Nope, I bought these from my wholesaler. Nope, I just thought they were so cute. Got some extras. Like I said, I only have um, 12 of these picks, so I, I only have 12 of them in my shop if you guys are interested. I think they're so cute. I know, it's glitter fest. Glitter all over me. Don't forget, if you don't already like and follow my page, please do so. And please, please bless my page by sharing it to your, um, your page. Share it with your friends. Hey Marlene, how are you? Okay, you want over here. Okay, and then we will see. I don't know if I'm going to put them on the top yet or not. It's your birthday! Happy birthday, Allison! Happy birthday! Everyone say happy birthday to Allison! No worries. No worries at all. Okay. I love these ghosts. They they look like they're flying out of the wreath. Okay, now before I decide if I'm gonna put them in the top, I think I'm gonna go ahead and put my sign in. My birthday is in August. Hey, well, welcome from Ireland. Okay, so I'm probably just going to have to put this right in the middle because I don't think it's going to need them. Okay, so let's go ahead and cut this out. I know. I don't think it's going to need this stuff in the center because I think whew, it is going to um, it's going to cover all that good stuff if we do. Oh, awesome, Christine! Yeah, I have. Um, I only have twelve. Of the ghost picks, so if you, Susie Brown, happy birthday! Happy happy birthday! All right, and I need now. This sign is thick enough, so I don't need um, I don't need the um, other. No, I usually always put those things there. 
but I know this th this isn't going through the sign because this sign is thick enough. Great day to have a birthday. Okay. Yeah, I don't even think I'm gonna look, but I don't even think I need a ribbon in the top. But let me check once I get the sign on. Oh, it's a big one, Susie Brown. Let's see once I get it on. Okay. Nope, I don't think I do. I don't think I do. I think it will just be too crowded. I just don't believe in making the wreaths so overcrowded. You know what I mean? Okay, let me get this through there. But it might need something here and there. Let's just see. So then I always try to find the crossbars so that it doesn't, um, no, I know, right, Christine? So that it doesn't slide around, oh, and that one came out, because that one's a really thick one. I have to fix that one. What I'll do too is I'll um, hit these with a little hot glue so that they don't move it. Um. Oh, July 4th. Well, my sister's birthday was July 4th. My sister that passed an Easter. Happy birthday. Okay, so that one I have to fix because this one was too thick. But we'll fix that one. Okay. Yeah, I don't think so. I don't think it really needs anything else. What do you guys think? Because I don't want it overpowering. You know, I like it that it is not... Um, Not crazy. Oh, thank you. Okay, let me tuck these in. Get those out of the way. I know, right? I, I just, um, sometimes less is more, right? I don't always like it to be so crazy that it's, you know, there's times for that, but... I don't know. Alright, let me just get these pipe cleaners out of the way. Okay, I think that's good. You know, because I feel like, you know, the ghost kind of popping out here and there. Yeah, I like seeing the mesh, right? You can see the mesh, you can see the ribbons, and I kind of like it. I think the ghosts kind of hanging out is good. I mean, I can add more ghosts, but I don't even think, I don't even know that I want to add more ghosts because, you know, like maybe one here. Maybe that's what I'll do. Just one there and one there. What do you think? But other than that, I think it's done. You know, because I don't want to overdo it. 
but I do like the idea. No, I didn't make the ghosts. Okay, hold on. Wait a minute. Okay, hold on. Let me get this one wrapped around. Okay, hold on. Hold, please. Okay, I want to get that wrapped around, but I want it standing up. There is five on the picks. Yeah, five ghosts come on each pick. Okay, there we go. See, kind of like that, like the ghosts are coming out of the sign there, out of the, out of the wreath. Yes. <laughs> I think that was really all it needed. You know, with the other little ghosts there. Yeah, it's like that. I think I have to feed it through the mesh so it'll stay in place. But other than that, I think it's good. Oh no! There you go. What do you guys think? I love it. Um, I got them at my wholesale place. I'm selling them in my Etsy shop. There's a um at the pin, the pin. Oh, excuse me, the pin post. Debbie is where you can get them. There's a link right there. I love it. I love how it turned out. I love the little ghost. That's just the touch it needed. I just need to just needs to there we go. That's better. There we go. Okay. All right, that's it guys, and don't forget, I'm going to have some guests on um, the next couple of weeks, so, um, right, right, you want to see the mesh, yeah, because the mesh is so pretty, so Dawn will be coming on in the next day or so just to introduce herself, and then she will be on next Monday, and then um, Sue Merrick from Merrick Memories will be on next Thursday. So, and then, but I'll be popping in and out here and there. Um, just not a full, you know, live to make a wreath. So thanks guys. But I will be back. I will see you guys from Wreath Makers Live and from vacation. Have a wonderful time. And I'll pop on Thursday night and let's, um, I know Peggy, take care. Thank you, and um, I'll pop on Thursday, and maybe we'll just make a little sign or something. We'll see. We'll, we'll play with it. We'll play with the, the, um, the cricket on Thursday night. <laughs> but it'll probably be later, because I know we have to pack the car. At, you know, do all kinds of stuff. So, All right, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Have a wonderful night. Thank you, guys. I will. Thanks, guys. Bye.